Diamonds in the city moving slow. 30, 30, 35, for the coat. Only, only, only real niggas keep you flow. Keep you flow. Only true niggas. All right, so Shrimp Life 3 is dropping, man. And it's not one project, two projects, but it's three projects. We're going to have Swayze Solo, Slim Jimmy, and then we're going to have the duo album. Are you excited, Mom? Man, I'm super excited for that Swayze Solo project. Swayze the God never misses. So, you know, that's going to be 10 fire tracks. Um, Ray Shermer's Stream Life 1 was fire. Stream Life 2 was fire. So, obviously, 3 should be super fire. That Slim Jimmy tape, though, that should both be trash. I'm going to hold you. I know. Some, some people say Slim Jimmy is the 103,000 of the group. No one says I have so. seen that on Twitter. I've seen that on Twitter. I'm just saying. I've seen that on Twitter. I've heard all this man's um, features. None of them have been, like, outstanding. His contributions on the Ray Shimmer tape aren't that good anyway. So, come on now. A whole 10 tracks from Slim Jimmy. And <laughs> keep that. He, he might have a feature on there with Gucci, man. It just ends up being a hit. Like, what features would you think would be on this on the Slim Jimmy project? It's not, it's not going to be like no Drake or anything. No Kendrick. Trouble. It's going to be like in camp. <laughs> trouble. Right? Yeah, like, no. It's, it's probably be like Trouble, 2 Chains, mm -hmm. Gucci, Kodak Black, maybe. Maybe Big Sean. Yeah, 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 fuck. You're thinking about it now. I don't know about the Slim Jimmy project. <laughs> fuck. Oh, yeah, I was gonna lead into it like y'all mix, but I'm like, whoa, the features don't even sound as nice with Slim Jimmy. But uh, yeah, and then Michael made it, seeing the rollouts coming this week, which they did, and they dropped the single Teed Up, which is serving, for, uh, it's pretty much serving like the NBA's like theme song for like All Star Weekend, or mm -hmm. it's for like the televised games. It's being played. That, that's a pretty good look. That song's that song's pretty all right. It's not as good as any of their previous hits or singles, but it's a pretty all right song. What was the song that was released before? Perplexing Pegasus. Yeah, Pegasus. It's like and it essentially has that vibe, and I feel like again, like maybe they went with this because it's working with promotion with the NBA. Cause I feel like um, Pegasus would have been just sounds a little bit better. Uh, Mike Will made it went on this rant against academics because academics said he didn't want to hear three whole cds of just ray Shrimmer, but i think that's before he knew that they were all going to be separate projects and then we're going to get the duo mm -hmm. again michael made it said the um, the inspiration for this rollout or for for the projects was because of outcast well, which is well, which is wild because none of them none of them are tree stacks and <laughs> none of them speak boy <laughs> that's wild well, I'm gonna let them rock. <laughs> I mean, and that, uh, yo, fun fact, that's the only, uh, that's the only hip hop album to ever win a Grammy on album of the year. Unless you're counting Lauryn Hills, that's kind of like R&B, hip hop, soul. But Outkast Project's the only project to ever do that. So, so maybe, maybe they're trying to win album of the year, you think or no? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I mean, if, if that's the inspiration. <laughs> Like, are they going for that? But, um... What they're going for is high sales numbers with all them tracks. That's what they're going for. High first week sales. Man, but, like, if, if we're looking back at, um, Ray Shrimmer's previous projects, they all move around anywhere between 50 to 60k first week. This one's probably going to move around 125, I think. Right? Because they're ma they kind of mainstream now. Also. They kind of. Right? They have they've a, always been mainstream, but they've always been mainstream. But again, like the fans always pick out the single for them. So yeah. Like the single always picks up after the project. I think that's always the deal with them. Because Mike Will made it said like people like again like people were complaining too many songs, but then he's all like, we only released two projects, twenty six mm -hmm. songs altogether, and ten of those songs have gone platinum. Yeah.